Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the class based modeling. This comes under the how to build the analysis model in software engineering. Let us see first, first of all how to collect the classes. Suppose if you are going to build the model based on the class then we have to identify first of all what are all the classes and once we identify the classes we have to identify the attributes and the relationships that the system will use. Here the attributes are the behavior of the class and relationship is the communication between the different classes. Now for example we are taking an example of an airline example where we have different classes. What are the classes here? The travel board is the class. The traveler is a class and the boarding pass is a class. We are taking a tune example. There are many classes actually available but for, uh, for this scenario we are taking the two example classes which is the traveler and the boarding pass. They are all the two classes. And then the traveler's first and the last name and the travel document type represent the attributes. So for the traveler's class we have to find out the attributes. For each and every class we have identified for this model we have to find out the attributes for for this for this uh, traveler class the first name and the last name of the traveler and the travel document type these are all the three attributes the that is represented by for the travelers class and then we have to find out the class based modeling that represents an object that means you have to create an object for the class now the system manipulates the operations and now the elements of the class based model consists of the classes, the object, attributes, operations. So it is called the model is called as a class responsibility collaborator model. That, that means how many classes are available and what is the responsibility of the behavior of each class and how different classes of the system is collaborating to get the final output of the model. So it is called as a class responsibility collaborator models. So naturally we have to find out the classes and you have to create the objects and what are the attributes of the functions of the class and the responsibility of the each and every class. So this will define the model based on the class. And now let us see what is a class. Classes are determined using the underlying, underlining each noun or noun class and enter into the simple table. So we have form a table for this particular a CR, CRC diagram and then we are drawing first all the classes. So the classes may be a noun or a noun class. For example, we are having the following forms such as the system, the people or the device that generate the information that is used by the computer based system. They are all the external entities and then the things. What are the things? The reports, the displays, the letter, the signal or the part of the information domain of the problem okay and then the occurrences of the events a property transfer or the completion of a series or the robot movements occurs in the context of the system so any action is called as an occurrence or the event these are all the components of the classes the external entities the things that are being displayed or that it, that means created are the event that is happening or an operation and then the roles the role is the activity played by the people involved in the system like the manager, the engineer, the salesperson or interacting with the system. So there are many components of the system. So each component has the role. The role may be of the role of like a manager or engineer or any other responsible role. And then the organizational units. So we can have the division, the group, the team are suitable for an application. For example, a division may work for some purpose and in that division a group of people may work and the group may have several teams. So we have to find out the organizational units. They are interacting with each other in the system. And then the places. The manufacturing floor or the loading dock for, from the context of the problem and overall function of the system. Okay. And now... The structures, the sensors, the computers are defined as a class of objects or related classes of the objects. Because normally when we have the systems, the always the sensors plays the role. The sensors bring the input and it also displays the output. So they form the structures in the system and then the attributes. Attributes are the set of data objects that are defining a complete class within context of the problem. 
because based on the context the attributes may vary for example the employee is the class and it consists of name id department designation and salary of the employee as an attribute so the employee will have an name they have an id they, they belong to some department and they may have designation and they may get some salary range so everything become an attribute of the class employee okay and now so this is the way to identify the classes and then let us see the operations of the class that operations define the behavior of an object for example and here the operations like uh, the data like adding modifying deleting or displaying so data may be you can add the data we may display the data we may compile the data we may display the modify the data etc so the operation performs a computation that means it does some process the operation monitors the objects for the occurrence of controlling an event so when the objects does some operation or when any action occurs on the object an event occurs so based on the operation we can say the event occurs now let us see what is the crs modeling the crs stands for the class responsibility collaborator here we have to find out the classes available and responsibility of each and every class and now how the classes collaborate or they communicate with each other to get the process done the, the, the define the model so it provides a simple method for identifying and organizing the classes that are applicable to the system or the product requirement and then class is an object oriented class name here it consists of information about a subclass or a superclass that, that means they have many classes and the class may become in they come into many hierarchy they may they may be one parent class they may be many parent classes they may be many subclasses many children classes so it depends upon the organization hierarchy key, many classes may have been developed and the responsibilities they are based upon the attributes and the operations of the object that comes under some class and then collaborations are identified and determined when a class can achieve each responsibility of it so it does some the class the object does some operation achieve something so that is achieve some goal so that is the responsibility the class has achieved so when the class achieves the responsibility for what it is meant for we can say that the collaborations are identified that means the work is done the communication took place between the classes and then once you are not able to find out an class as an identify a separate class we can able to find out the interaction of one class with the other class okay so if you can, that means if you are not able to identify a class separately in that case we will be able to find out the class that needs the attraction with the interaction with the other classes this is an example of the collaboration diagram so we can see a name or role is given which is the atm that is the automatic teller machine in that automatic teller machine what is the responsibility and what is the collaboration this is the model so this is the way you have to mention the model the responsibility is access and modify the account balance we all know that when you go to an atm the atm will help to find out the balance and make some transaction and it will display the balance amount after modifying the account okay so that is the responsibility of this particular uh, role which is then atm machine and then what is the collaboration so we have client and the server this that means this is one class this is other class so now the collaborator this is the account is the collaborator and in here from the server we can have the balance inquiry deposit transaction funds transfer and withdrawal transaction so these are all the actions that is done and this account is the collaborator that means this is the client through which the service can be got from the server in order to make the collaborations so this is how the response this is the class defining so this class responsibility collaboration diagram or the atm machine is given so this is how to follow the class based modeling in order to develop a crs diagram and thanks for watching